Well, we're here today and uh, we're, we already have a good stand location here. Uh, I have a bedding area behind me, um, food sources out to my front and to my left, and uh, great bedding area behind me. So these deer are funneling out of that bedding area, great buck holding bedding area, and then down to the food. Uh, we have a lot of grasses out in front of me before that food. The grasses and young brush out there hold a lot of does and fawns. So primarily this, uh, this bedding area behind me, uh, we have a little history with. I have not hunted on this property before, but it's adjacent to the property I hunted for 12 years. We actually hunted above that bedding area. And um, this bedding area, probably over half of our largest bucks in the, uh, on that property up above, uh, were either coming into or leaving this bedding area uh, when we shot them. And so we have a lot of history here, and we know it's a good bedding area. Problem is we're down here in the bottom. And what, what makes that tough is that um, a low stand location like this is really tough to hunt in the morning. A lot of our largest bucks are shot in the morning, and we hunt high. You know, our thermals are rising up and in the morning. All those temperatures are changing rapidly. Um, and we can expect that if the deer are on the low side of us in the morning, we're okay. Now we're down here in the, uh, in the low side, um, and at the same time, we're a little closer to food. So be a tough spot to get into in the morning, one for thermals and two, a uh, good chance of spooking deer. And that's where the water hole comes in. These deer are sitted, sitting dry all day in this bedding area, and one of the first things they want to do is hit water in the evening on the way to their food source. Interesting note about that is a lot of times um, on our cameras, we'll get 90% of our pictures in the evening until the rut. Uh, and then that flip-flops to where we're seeing deer on water holes all day as bucks are cruising. Uh, it's a great way to tell when the pre-rut started because as soon as you see bucks on the water in the morning, might be October 21st after a cold front comes through or the 23rd, whatever the date then, you know the pre-rut's starting to kick in because these deer typically, they're sitting dry all day, they'll come down and hit the water in the evening, go to food. After they feed on green vegetation all night, they don't have the uh, necessity to get a drink of water in the morning. Uh, their, their green food meets their moisture requirement and, uh, and they're heading back to their bedding area. So here we have an evening, evening uh, stand location and this water hole is not going to attract any more deer to it than are already in the area. Um, meaning there's not going to be more in this bedding area because of this water hole. What we're using this water for and what you want to use water anywhere uh, for is to define movement. So we're trying to take deer that might come on a trail over here, right here, even up here, and we're putting them in a location where we want them to go so that we can funnel them by the stand on the upwind side of the stand location. In the evening, we can expect this scent to filter down here and lay in this valley and, uh, and stay out of the way of the stand location. So what we're gonna do is take this water hole and we're gonna stick it above the stand location at about 25 yards, and it's gonna be on a nice bench. There's actually some uh, rock outcropping above it. So we're hoping to take the deer out of this stand, uh, bedding area behind me, have them skirt over to the water and continuing on one of the best worn trails over here going right down to food. So I'd like to see those young does and fawns pass by, uh, younger buck, and then uh, hopefully that mature buck will come out um, at some point. Good thing is, again, we have a lot of does and fawns down in this brushy area and grass. We can come in from the side over here, right behind the uh, neighbor's house. Um, let our scent blow back towards that house. We have a real non-invasive access. We can leave those does and fawns that are bedded out towards that food source, leave them alone, and, uh, and hopefully we're, we're gonna be on a mature buck, maybe even here in the early season, but especially during the rut. I have uh, brought some boys up here to, to help us along today, and hopefully they'll do more digging than we do, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Thank you.